So now that we know how to place the CSS and just for refresher, right? So this would be the link with an external style sheet. Now we can talk about the rules, the selectors, the declarations, the values and the property. So basically in short, now we're going to talk about how we can actually change these elements, right? So how we can work this background color yellow or what does that actually all means, right? So in a CSS, it's actually very, very basic, right? So the first thing that we're going to need is actually selector. And in other words, we actually need something that we're targeting, right? So this is going to change. Let's say this one time it's going to be heading one. Then you're going to change the paragraph or the body or, I don't know, the third input of your form or something like that, right? So this is always going to be the element that we're actually selecting. And then over here, we're going to make these funny looking brackets. And then over here, we're going to need to write a property over here like this. And then we'll need the value for the property, right? So like just an example before, right? So here we were targeting heading one over here like this because I know that this is heading one, right? So obviously if I'm going to be targeting heading six, which actually doesn't exist right now, meaning in my document, right? I mean, it's not, nothing is going to happen, right? But if we're targeting the actual element that we have heading one, first is the selector, right? So we got that part, right? Then over here we would have a property. And property would be, let's say, border, right? So in this case, let's use something else. Let's say border, right? And over here, then I would need to write the value, right? So what kind of value I would need, right? And there's many ways how to write it. I'm just going to write you that we're obviously going to be using a lot of shortcuts. And over here, I'm going to say solid red, okay? And actually, this is three properties together. But what CSS allows is actually shortcutting. I'm moving a little bit ahead, but... The idea of what I'm trying to show you is that there's always going to be a property and there's always going to be a value, right? So let's try something else, right? So let's go back to the, I don't know, font size, right? So let's create font size and over here, I'm going to write that this is going to be like 30 pixels, 30 pixels. Man, this is probably not big enough. Let's write 50, right? So what you're seeing right now is there's always going to be a selector then the syntax is going to be there's going to have to be property then we need to put a colon and then over here this is going to be the value and all these three things are going to change these are going to change right sometimes we're going to be targeting paragraphs sometimes we're going to be targeting forms this is going to change right there's going to be many properties there's going to be background colors and there's going to be colors and font size and font decoration and all kinds of things and the values are going to change, right? So one time it's going to be 50 pixels. Next time we're going to say that the border color is going to be blue. So all these things are going to change. However, the syntax is always going to be the same, right? And the key over here is going to be basically going over the property and going over the possible values and going over what kind of selectors, right? So first we're going to be covering selectors. Then over here we're going to be covering the actual properties and the values. So it's pretty much going to be everything is the same, right? So the next video, we're going to cover one property, then we're going to co cover another value, and so on and so forth. And while we're doing this, we're obviously going to be learning CSS.